Hi there guys, it's me, Control here, and today I'm taking a look at the weird hybrids mod for Minecraft 1.3.1. And as you can see me, as as you could see, not can see now, there was an ender cube behind me. And the ender cube is one of the mobs added to the game. And as you just saw, if I just want to spawn in again, I think it's this one. It's a slime mixed with an enderman, and it can teleport. As you, That was a very small jump. Oh no, it's gone over there now. So these are really kind of cool, and they will spawn naturally above the surface. So there's one that's spawned naturally just above ground at daytime, and they they will be hostile and they will attack you. I'm not going to show you because they'll probably kill me. And of course the small ones do less damage. It's kind of like a slime. And now, I don't know, will, will it get hurt if it falls into water? I've actually always wanted to see... Well, I haven't always wanted to see it. I've always wanted to see it this time from... Yes, it will. As you saw, it kind of turned red and got hurt, and it will immediately teleport away. And now as you kill it, it will drop ender eyes. No. The things you throw. I've forgotten what they're called. Ender pearls. That's the one. They will drop them rather than a slime ball. And, of course, they will split into cubes, smaller cubes like the slime will. And now these guys are probably the most common because they seem to be spawning quite a lot. Now the next one we've got is the Zulf. Now the Zulf should burn at daylight. There we go. <laughs> On cue, perfectly. And you should be able to tame them with rotten flesh. But I found that it doesn't really work for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Where is rotten flesh? There it is. Where did he go? Oh, he's died. Okay, well we can try, him, try that again. Nope, wrong one. There we go. So I should be able to tame him with this rotten flesh. But as you can see, he's not taking it. And he'd just prefer to burn. So I don't know if that's like some bug. But that's not so cool. So the next one we've got is a creepig. Now a creepig is, as you can see, a pig basically with a creeper texture. And it's really cool because if you hit him, he will get angry and explode on you. I said explode on you. Ah, there we go. And he didn't do the world any damage because he was in water, but he would have like exploded at the same amount of space as a creeper would. So a creeper would like take out, I think it's about 4x4, four four. that would do the same. And he will drop if I can, oh wrong one, there we go, if I can kill him, he will, no I can't kill him, alright let's try that again, let's get a sword, because this guy's too cool for me. Okay let's try and kill him now, with my golden sword, wrong one, okay I'll, I'll come to that one in a minute, but let's just kill this guy. Come on, die. There we go. He will drop a pork chop. And that's because he's basically a pig, so he will drop pork chops. He won't drop any gunpowder. No many times no matter how many times you spawn him in, he will always drop the pork. Now this one is a chow. Chow. <laughs> chow. And he is a mixture between a cow and a chicken. And sometimes he'll make cow noises like then. And then sometimes he'll make chicken noises like he is now. And when you kill him, he will drop, if I can kill him without destroying my whole world. There we go, he's dropped some leather and some chicken, so it's a bit of both. And that is really cool. And now the last one is probably the best one, one of my favourite. Oh, he burns in daylight too. Now this is a villager skeleton. And as you can see, he's like the villager shape, but with a skeleton texture. So if I just set the time to night. No, slash time. I'm not very good with this new cheat thing. Oh, he stopped burning now. Okay, well that was unnecessary. If I do kill him... He won't attack me back, because he's passive still. And as you can see, well, as you could see, I don't know what that dragon blade is, he dropped some emeralds. I, I can't say much more than emeralds. He dropped emeralds, and I think that's really cool. It's a nice way to get some emeralds rather than going mining, because I know they're impossibly hard to find. And that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description. So, control, out.